Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to Tentile Gaming. My name is Ryan and as always, I hope this video finds you well. And of course, we are once again back in some more Boundless. This time, probably with a little bit of controversy as you could tell by the name, the title of this video, Crafting Times. We, uh, we gotta talk about this. So this character here is my crafter builder so he's specked out pretty pretty you look like a cutie is he's cute let's let's keep it light right here he, he's a cutie he is specked out pretty basic for a crafter i don't think anything uh you know too crazy all, all the crafting things that you can get for you know down to food and and all of that and really not much else you know, maybe a little bit building Definitely the volume crafting and and stuff on there like that. Other than that, nothing too extravagant, nothing really crazy to write home about there. But the thing we need to talk about, and this is going to open a huge can of worms, are crafting times too high. And I say this in relative to mass crafting, because I think the craft times for everything less than mass crafting is probably okay. But I always felt like the materials made more sense to get more out of it. You know, waste as many materials when you mass craft and we just always mass craft. So that's the way I've always looked at it. So if we look at just basic stuff here, whether it's refined wood and we look at a mass craft, that thing takes 25 minutes and it's using a lot of material, which is, is a big deal. So we're talking about both like efficiency in some respects and I, I kind of get it. You're making some advanced blocks and more refined blocks with these so I, we've taken the hit on the materials it's okay i've gotten okay with that the thing people have not gotten okay with is to get 50 of those blocks that's 25 minutes and now this refinery uh, full transparency is not powered the workbench that we'll look at is powered so Take that into account. I know when we power it up, I, I think it gets some more stuff. We'll go over to the guild and, and uh, fully verify that. I just don't remember because it's not a thing I, I get super into anymore. Forging is a whole different boat. I don't know if we want to really talk about that here in this video, but I know that based on the the skill level or the, the weapon level, or I, I can't remember what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Your your weapon tool whatever it is can end up costing you more time sometimes it's 40 minutes sometimes it's 60 minutes and it's just completely crazy so what i didn't look at here in in any of these whoops one one misclick away that's all it is is when we get into some of these other ones as we go down down the rabbit hole here you know refine sapphire an hour and 40 minutes which i don't know if we're refining sapphire but let's go to one that we we know like refine gleam i do this a lot only 25 minutes, not that big a deal. We go to some of these decorative blocks. 37 minutes. I mean, we're getting to some of these points in actual time where it's getting a little bit much. And I think it's because we're crafting in mass amounts. And good reason, because you kind of need to. You're trying to get a lot of things done. Lanterns I, do a, I tend to do a lot of. 50 minutes 50 minutes so these these times are, are kind of just going up and up and up and i feel like as we add more blocks to the game here we go the the pane glass is a is a good one 50 minutes are we gonna keep on this trend here these poles oh my cut hour and 15 minutes are we gonna keep on this trend with with our crafting or even when we're, we're dealing with with power like i said we'll look at that here in a second just to make sure that that is fully a thing that uh, is fleshed out for us. It's just a little bit silly. So this this workbench, how many coils do we have on this thing? I don't even know. Five, I believe. Five. So it only has five, so it has not a ton of power <laughs> behind this poor thing, which is is fine. It's, it's, it's all good. So when we look at some of these... I only have 1,500 power, so I need 2,000 power. So power is a different discussion. We don't want to probably talk about that here necessarily. But it does come into the equation, as does spark. 
and it feels like we're just becoming more and more programmed to expect that you're going to have to one wait use a lot of material and then have to deal with both power spark and, and kind of a combination of things and i think for new players that's really really difficult to stomach so 50 for three hours and 20 minutes and now i'm not saying that we're doing decorative umbrist or decorative blink or, or anything like that it's it's kind of just the point when we get into some of these more advanced recipes it feels like it's actually gating people out that don't necessarily have time it's it, it's maybe a, a slippery thing so if i wanted to get more power from my workbench using my workbench that's very efficient you know we're talking 12 hours to make 25 of these is that is that a long time kind of do i need 25 of them no but maybe i want to sell them to somebody like 12 hours is a long time to wait and you know people don't always have time to play that's kind of a, a it is an advanced workbench power coil so i guess that is a little bit different but we're talking some of these times are just getting crazy you know as we add more stuff are we just adding more time that we're not actually playing the game because i don't know how you guys play the game when you're dealing with these long long crafting times i know how i'd play it i log out of the game i do a whole bunch of crafting if it says it's going to take like two or three hours i i either do the the tedious stuff whether it's gathering or or hunting or, or whatever it is and i or building and i go on and do other things and then i often have to log you know log out because i don't have a, a lot of disposable time to sit here and wait for stuff and I come back, you know, maybe a day later or sometimes days later, completely forgetting that I crafted stuff. So that's just kind of the <laughs> the cycle that I'm in. But it's it's one of those things. So let me know how that goes down for you guys. How do you deal with these crafting times with uh, without power, I, I guess, is is what I would start with. And then uh, let's go over here and look at the guild because this is fully spec and I to full transparency as per usual. I don't often craft in my own stuff anymore because I don't have the time. So we'll walk over here to the to the guild and take a look at the setup over here. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. And we're back here in the guild build. It's fancy as usual. Great job, Stretch. I love what you've done here. It feels like home to me. I spend a lot of time in here when I'm playing the game. Especially if we're crafting or trying to get things going. Let's uh, let's take a look at some of these. We, we can see if this has any difference. One of these we looked at was uh, the coils. And it was 12 hours or so. Or 25 of them. It did drop it down by half. But here here's the one gotcha. This is still the same complaint. And I, I didn't want to bring this up. I was told not to make this video. I said I wouldn't make this video. But I feel pulled to this topic like we've got to talk about it somebody's got to talk about it because no one's talking about it five hours and 15 minutes to wait for something might be too long even for something as advanced as this that so power does come into play but when we're so for even for advanced players this is going to become an issue you know we look at some of these other he, others here uh you know decorative blocks i feel like that's always going to be a problem machined iron has always been an issue for me I mean, 11 minutes, not really a big deal. Down to 25, that's fine. But again, we're doing these, you know, sometimes in batches of how many mass crafts. So it can just kind of, kind of crazy. You get into some of your, again, your decorative blocks. It just goes way out the window. What's the one that everyone's losing their mind about? I believe it's in, is it in the mixer? I believe it is. I could use the search, but I, I don't want to. The super enriched bonding agent and the enriched. This is where it can get crazy for people. I didn't look at it in the other one, so I'm assuming it's about half. So we're talking 23 minutes. I believe it's about 50 for the other one. That's a long time for some people, and they're trying to do tons of these. So that was just the enriched. The super enriched, we're talking 35 minutes. And I get with the other one, I guess it's over an hour, an hour 10. That's, that's probably not... Uh, not going to be for everybody so what i would like to know how do you feel about crafting times are they too long 
I get that most people are going to say, yeah, they're probably too long. But I have another question off of that question. What do we do about it? What do, what do we do as people who love to play this game, love to enjoy building and crafting and, you know, whatever it is in this game that you love to do? What do we do about this central part of the game? What can the devs do? Because to me, it makes sense if something right now takes 50 minutes to craft without power. And then when we power it up, it takes like 25 minutes or whatever it is to craft. Do we cut that in half again? Like, is there an equation there? Something that we could go on. Some things I've heard of is if it takes 50 minutes, maybe we should drop that zero and make it take five. And I don't know if that helps or hurts because maybe some stuff behind the seam, uh, scenes is, uh, <laughs> seems, the seams of the game, uh, behind the scenes is kind of hard-coded so that we're not doing a lot of uh, damage to servers or, you know, we're not overloading things. I don't know exactly. But I feel like there is definitely some wiggle room. Let me look at or We can look at a mixer right here so I can have that uh, fully in my head. It was an hour and 15. So that that's basically when you power it up fully, it, it's cutting the time in half. But again, here here's the gotcha. So that had no power. This guy over here has how much power? We'd have to look at a something that requires power, right? That's the other requirement. So this thing is 7,200 power, which is insane. Uh, but it only requires 1,500, which you know, for some people that can be that can be a thing. You know, you're trying to go and get stuff, and it's a, a real pain in the backside. And for new players, this is the thing. I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. I'll keep hammering this point home. They're not going to stay when these craft times are are like this. We're gonna lose people, and we've already lost people. We've lost people that were long time. We've lost people that, you know, there's that uh, stat that's gone around out there, and I won't mention who, who said it, but it, it seems about right. We've got 40% of the people that have played this game and not made it out of Sanctum. So we're talking about that minor complexity right there. And then there are so many other complex systems within this game. So much to understand. And then we're talking about these crafting times on top of that. I just don't know if that's too much weight to bear for some people. Or if they just play this game like I've learned to just play this game. Which is to just craft whatever I need or, or see if... You know, someone in the in the guild can get it. That's not always an option for people. Because I just don't have the time for it. What do you guys think? What should we do about this crafting time? I feel like we're crafting our time away. In a game where we're trying to enjoy the beauty. And I don't know if we're serving ourselves in our best interest and, and even in the best interest of the game and the devs vision I just don't know but it has been a driving factor for me and I know it's a driving factor for other people because it comes up quite frequently I've asked people many many times when they come into a stream or are in a video and they're like I, I, I really like this game it's it's fun I really enjoy it but, it, you know, it just doesn't always stick with me. And I always ask right away, what's, like, is, is there a thing that drives you away? And before they even answer, I said, I bet it's crafting times. They said 100%. And it's almost always the case. It's almost always the case. And crafting stuff has changed pretty drastically. And that's really good. But what I'm really asking here is do we think there's more wiggle room? There's got to be, right? Because the game's only going to get more and more complex. That's how it grows. So what do we do about it? What do you guys think? It's a lot of questions, a lot of uh, potential controversy, and I understand that. I'm fine with it. 
I'm fine with it. I've gotten used to the crafting system, but that's because I play, you know, maybe a handful of hours a week. I'm not uh, not as diehard as I once was, but I still love the game and really genuinely want it to succeed. And I'm very curious about this topic. I've, I've always had an opinion about it, and I'm not going to hold it in any longer. So let me know down in those comments below. That's going to do it for this video here. I know a little bit of controversy, but be gentle in those comments down below. Click that bell for notifications right after you hit that subscribe button. Click the like button. If you like the video, click the dislike button if you dislike the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Meow and have an awesome day.